So can you explain again how the arbitrage worked with GIF and PGIF or how it would work with ICOSA and IBURN? Uh, like I just said, there's going to be more opportunities with IBURN and ICOSA, but how it's currently working with GIF and PGIF is what you're typically seeing is people are selling down PGIF when it goes over that GIF plus 10. So the protocol fee is 10 pulse to turn one GIF into a permagif, a PGIF. So you've got a 10, po a 10 pulse differential, a 10 10 pulse spread, which we call the ceiling. When it goes above that 10 pulse, so when um, PGIF is 15 versus 10 pulse greater than GIF, then there's an arbitrage opportunity to sell that down to the 10, uh, the ceiling, the 10 pulse differential. Take that pulse that you've earned from selling it, buy back all of your GIF and still have more pulse left over than you ran through the transaction plus a little extra. So your people are actually stacking pulse being able to do that. That's how you arb the ceiling down to the ceiling price. Now, when PGIF is below the ceiling price, the best option for you is to use the GIF PGIF pool and use your GIF to purchase more PGIF because it costs less than running one GIF plus one or plus 10 PLS through the protocol to mint a PGIF. So you're actually getting more PGIF for less economic energy just using GIF directly. So there's an arbitrage on both sides. You're going to see a lot of that with iBurn and ICOSA. They're going to see the arbitrage opportunity into whichever of the ICOSAs is cheapest at the time to get more ICOSA than what it costs you to burn or to, to mint the iBurn. Um, you're also going to see the op arbitrage opportunity both ways. I guess there's going to be five pools. I didn't even think about that. Um, because you're going to, well, no, it'd still be the same. You can, you can arb between EICOSA and PICOSA. You can arb between EICOSA and IBURN, and you can arb between PICOSA and IBURN. And let's not forget whenever uh, you technically, no, you will have five. You got your you e he drawn and your P he drawn. Well, there's that itself, too. Yeah, because yeah. once you start the icosahedron flywheel, you have all the... Yes, once that drawn. kicks in, again. I mean, that was one of the major goals, right? Yeah. And if you think about, besides making the parody on two chains, besides jumpstarting something we love and care deeply about, um, we're running these pretty different simulations. Again, bringing the Ethereum-wrapped asset over is kind of our testing ground for what we're doing with Pulsar, right? Which is even two more complex steps forward. <clears throat> so everything had a purpose in the way that we're deploying the things and to run the simulations that we'd like to see the um, back testing um, data points.